Are you running out of space to store your sunshade? Will drop down when you're driving? Are you tired of looking at your ugly reflective silver sunshade? Are you tired of it blocking out all of the natural daylight? Making it too dark inside your van? Don't you wish you can have a sunshade and the view? No longer will you need to stare at this ugly silver reflective thing. You can just throw it away. And my solution to the problem? Sundara 1.0. You'll still be able to see the view with no obstructions, no more silver, shiny background. Now you get to see the actual background. And you get all your natural daylight from outside, from the sun. Best of all, the sun will not harm you. There is no sun ray to worry about. You don't have to worry about the hot dash, like here. Okay, and here's what you will need to go with the frame. You will need this. It's a uh, screen splint. The tools to go with it. This is like three dollars, and this is like four or five bucks. And then the main thing that you will need is this. This is actually the window screen. It's a sun guard and it has like small tiny weaves uh small holes that will give you the privacy but uh, still letting you see outside it'll be a little bit harder for people to see inside because this will actually uh, make the windows uh reflective it doesn't work at night so this is just kind of like a window screen but then it's also protect the interior from the sun and also the heat so what you will need is a 36 inch by 84. It has actually cost me $14 before tax. So now I'm gonna cut this down to size. It's just a regular window screen frame. Quite sharp, so I'm gonna sand it down a bit to remove all the sharp edges. This is where I'm gonna mount it right up top here, fits in quite nicely up, up, up at the top, out of the way. So I already uh, measure the size, 36 inches will work. I just forgot to measure how long, but I could use this.
Alright, there you have it. There's your screen. Alright, and here I have two wooden delts. These are just a regular three-quarter inch wooden uh, delts that I'm gonna use. And they don't sell these uh, the length that I needed, so I have to buy two. And here's how I'm gonna connect it using this and some wood glue. Just gonna drill the hole in the center and join them together. Alright, here's the wood glue that I'm gonna use. Tie bond. After you drill the hole, put some of the glue in and then spread it around on the top as well. And then you just press the wooden dowels in. exact same thing on the other side. Alright, there you go. Nice low joint. I'm laying down the dowels just to get a measurement and to cut it down to size. Alright, so here's what you would do, roll it up, and you would roll it all the way up until you see the other line right there, make a staple on Alright, so now that you've done that, it's actually is holding it in quite well. Nice tiny little package. Let's go mount it inside. Alright, we're gonna drill holes. Alright, so you just keep doing it all the way. I've done a few already, as you can see. Now I have to continue with all of these. Alright, so what you want to do is uh, don't zip tie it all the way through leave it a little room so that way you can finish the rest so this is a lot more time consuming than just uh, screwing it in 
but like I said this is the headliner um, it's kind of hard for you to know where to screw it in to secure it so this is the best method that I can think of and the blind is not that heavy so it's not gonna do any damage okay last one in now all I have to do is zip it up push it up in place zip tie it. Here it is, install, and done. All the way through. Alright, so it is the next day. We are here at Hulan Beach and we're gonna test out the screen. Alright, so here is where you undo it. It's only a small strap. There's the screen down. Didn't take long at all. And then you just hook it into the hook. It's basically just a shower hook. I've used some uh, two screws and just screw it into the dash. You still get the view. But look at my hand compared to no shade. No shade, it is quite a bit more intense versus with the shade. It's not too intense and it's not too hot. I can put my hand on the dash. It's warm to the touch but not hot. This, this spot over here where the sun is hitting it, it is quite hot. I'm liking the screen. I still get the view. Um, but without the uh, heat from the sun or the sun's ray beating on the dash and making it really hot inside the interior, this is just perfect. You could uh, also mount a blackout screen, one of the curtains here, and just do it the same way, but not a, a round hole row up with the blinds and just kind of attach the blinds up there you can uh, screw it in or you can uh, zip tie it into this and just have it sit right uh, behind it that way you can have the shades and then at night time you could actually roll down your blinds have yourself some uh, blackout curtains that's another idea that you can add on to this I already have the curtains on the track here, so I don't really need that option. But if you don't have the curtains already, and you're using the uh, Reflectix to kind of cover the windshield, you can buy a blackout insulated curtains, hook it up there, you can roll it up and just use the shades, or you can roll it down and use both. Alright, so let me know what you guys think. Just being back here, I can still have a lot of lights coming in without using the reflectics and then blocking off all the natural daylight you can see out there quite good it's like having no screen at all but you still get the protections and the privacy as well all right so i hope that uh helps some of you guys if you guys have any questions please leave it in the comments or if you have any other improvements to the screen, to the shades, any suggestions at all, leave it in the comments. I'll be sure to check it, put in the improvements, share it with uh, all of you guys. Alright, well that's it. I'm gonna go and enjoy my day here. You guys have fun. Stay safe. See you on the next one.